The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. You know, give them a second in case whatever, and I open the curtain. I open the curtain, I look back there. Oh boy, he's just got his legs spread, nothing on, and he's got a blanket just laying between his legs and his hand down there, I guess, playing with himself. And then I just look at him and he just smiles like, you know, come and get it, baby. And I'm like, what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel lockout men here again with another one for you i really appreciate you guys listening hey listen in today's episode man we're going to be looking at a video of a former i'm going to say former trainer she kicked a trainee out of the truck because she was in fear of her life i want to say two shout outs the first shout out goes to 448 report is actually where i got the video from and shout out to miss mother trucker which is the actual the actual young lady that's uh, telling the story here so definitely go over to 448 report and subscribe to them and miss mother trucker if you like to subscribe to her as well now if you want to hear more of the story and not my commentary definitely go over there and peep out the video and let both of them know that lockout men sent you listen there's going to always be situations when it comes to two strangers getting into a small space together i don't know for for a amount of time that they're going to be out on the road together the trainer purpose is to train and make sure that that person understands what's needed in that particular company in this case it's prime inc you're going to need to know how to go in get the paperwork scan paperwork talk to the shippers and receivers and all sorts of stuff like that i don't think the trainer is there to actually train you how to drive the truck because technically you should already know how to drive the truck before you got there but the trainer can critique a little bit and give you a little bit of tips on how to make you a better driver okay and the trainer is there to be patient with you the trainer is there to be to be focused on you to make sure that you are doing everything right and road safety you as the trainee okay you as the trainee is there to learn listen learn soak up all the information that you can get from this trainer if this is a good trainer and trainer not to be focused on anything else but the training again you as the trainee is to come in there listen learn understand and try to soak up everything that you could take from this particular trainer and you could take that with you when you go out on the road well unfortunately for this situation right here miss mother trucker had to kick her trainee out of the truck let's get into the story no more wasting time let's get it hold on now understand this guy normally would sleep in sweatpants or boxers or something totally buff ass in the air you know just showing off all his nudity and i'm like to start out with it's not clickbait i really was in fear of my life uh, with this last student and he will be my last student i have quit training and also i want to preface this at the beginning as soon as prime knew i finally told prime the depths of what was going on my dispatcher was going to remove him off the truck immediately i was not going to have to go another 10 feet down the road I said, after I deliver, let me just come in. I'd rather have security there or be around people at Prime when I pull in uh, before I tell them we're getting off the truck. Man, that must be a serious situation right there that, uh, that you want people around you. You want some type of security or something like that to be there when you uh, come back to the terminal with this person that you have on the truck. Let's start off with the beginning, what she said in her intro, buff, booty in the air, 
What kind of what kind of trainee was this? Anyway, everything seems to be going just fine. But I had noticed he kept not putting himself into off duty when he'd pull over and park. And I'd tell him, "Okay, hon, you need this is how this works. You need to always put yourself in off duty. We need to preserve your clock." And he goes, "What do you fucking think I'm stupid, bitch?" He goes, "You don't need to tell me every little thing like I'm a goddamn child." Whoa! See right there that hostility right there bro we gonna turn this truck around and thank you please come again it would it wouldn't have been nothing else after that it wouldn't have been nothing else after that now again we're only hearing the story from her side so we don't know what probably led up to all that animosity that the trainee gave to this trainer oh hell to the no i'm thinking this man and he's a big son of the gun then this man could knock me the fuck off the he could beat my ass uh, there would be nothing i could do but you know i'm like excuse me honey that dog don't hunt it doesn't even snap don't you ever talk to me with that tone again that ain't gonna work and i go i don't think you're stupid it's your job as a student not to start screaming and cussing at me and acting stupid. So I'd appreciate it if you would control your temper. I kept noticing he kept throwing shit up on the dash. And I would tell him, hey, you know, we need to keep our dash clean. We need to keep the front of this looking neat. Because otherwise, you know, we go through a way station, it looks all shabby. We could get called in for an inspection. And he goes, well, if we get called in for an inspection, no big deal because, and he's yelling it. He goes, because if we're doing something wrong, we deserve to get caught. How, how is this, how, how are you still on the truck with this trainee? And how do, how do the trainee already knows that if you get pulled into a way station and they get pulled in for an inspection, y'all deserve it? Sometimes y'all don't deserve it. Sometimes you get pulled into the way station and that, and that way master could walk up on the wrong side of the bed. He could have a bad cup of coffee or whatever the case, and then just pull you guys over and just do an automatic inspection. She is kind of right. You got a whole bunch of junk up in the in the dashboard. That's that's one reason for them to pull you over to the side and and give you an inspection for no reason. But still, why is this trainee still in the truck with you though? And if that was me, the trainee would have been gone. We wouldn't even went that far. The first incident, that's, it would have been a wrap right there. And I go, I like keeping my truck neat and I like keeping it clean. He goes, then you fucking clean it. Yeah, and he's yelling this at me. I'm, I'm just not gonna scream my ass off acting stupid. And I'm like, you don't need to right then and there. You, you got another opportunity right here at the way station. You got another opportunity right there, bro. Get off my truck. I'm gonna leave you right here at the way station, call yourself an Uber and find your way home, bruh. That's it. I'm not gonna be in the truck with all this animosity, with all this, with all this fear. That's not gonna happen. And especially you being a petite woman, you still giving this person the opportunity to, to do some harm to you? You already see where his actions and his his intent is at. He's he don't care about you. So at this point. The training is over. You need not to talk to me with that tone and talk to me like that again. I go, I'm your trainer, I'm your instructor, you're a prime, you do not. No, you're nothing to him now. You're nothing to him. You're nothing to me now. You're not a brother, you're not a friend. I don't want to know you or what you do. You're not a trainer, you're not a friend, you're not a woman. You just the person that's on this truck that I might have some ill will towards you. That's what you are right now. And you're on my truck in my home. If I ask you to keep that straightened out, you straightened out, okay? Oh, I guess another four or five days go by. And I stop, and I'm driving, I stop at a pilot. And I always go like, and then I open, you know, give them a second in case whatever, and I open the curtain. I open the curtain, I look back there. Oh boy, he's just got his legs spread, nothing on. And he's got a blanket just laying between his legs and his hand down there, I guess, playing with himself. And then I just look at him and he just smiles like, you know, come and get it, baby. And I'm like, and I said, we're at a pile of you need to go use the restroom or whatever. Okay, I this part right here, I allegedly, 
I, I kind of find this hard to believe. It could be possible that that the person already kind of got an inkling on who or what you are and maybe he kind of felt some kind of way of being on the truck with you the young lady is part of the lbgq community i'm just saying you guys make your own thoughts from there and maybe the person that was now that i now that i read more into this into this story with her maybe the trainee kind of like felt some kind of way of being on the truck with with the trainer being the, the way she is but i i still kind of find it hard to believe that the the trainee was in the back uh, all naked with just a towel on playing with itself and you just just willy-nilly opened up the curtain did they say hey hold on for a second or anything like that you you don't just go and open up a curtain while somebody in the back without them responding to you right and that's what you do if if you're at home or something like that or you go to the bathroom or something like that you at least knock on the door and wait until somebody say something before you open up the door right and this is a confined space so if you tap or say hey or something like that you would at least give a couple of seconds and wait for them to respond hey wait a minute i'm inappropriate right now let me put my 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 clothes on or whatever the case right so it could have happened of course we're not there and again we're just hearing this whole one-sided story but still you know, i i mean personally i i kind of find it hard to believe that that actually happened let's hear some more really yeah that dog don't hunt that dog doesn't even sniff okay so anyway i go in and i let that go and it just goes by because you know he could have been thinking about some girl i don't know what happened next let me see and of course he had not been doing his clock correctly i mean i'd have to go in help him clean it up stuff like that and then he goes fuck this fuck this you don't tell me when i can drive and when i can't drive and when i need a 34 and when i don't need a 34 and i'm like actually darling that's exactly what i do you know and he's just slamming that slamming stuff back there and acting a fool and i'm like whatever and then another time we're going along and he kept getting up front and wanting to sit up front, stay up front, and he had sat there and fall asleep. And I said, you need to go in the back and get your sleep. Because while I can't sleep, I'm not a kid. You're not going to fucking tell me when I got to get in. Why is he still on the truck? Hey, you, this guy is giving you so many red flags, man. Like the initial red flag right off the rip would have been it for him. Would have been it. You wouldn't have opened up the curtain. You wouldn't have seen him in his all glory. He wouldn't be back. He wouldn't be being intense with you, arguing back and forth, cussing you out, or anything like that, man. I don't know. But this story right here just gets crazier and crazier by the minute, and it's it's full of cringe. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This 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 is a cringe worthy story right here. It's so full of drama and the way she's the way she's telling it and everything like that. So I I don't know if you really felt in fear of your life and you needed to get this this trainee off your truck. Any sane person would have been done it already. I, you're not gonna be on the truck with me with all that with all that pent up frustration, bruh. You just not. But then again, for the trainees, maybe maybe he was frustrated because maybe Prime didn't let him know what trainer that he was going to get. Well, maybe he thought he was going to get him a male trainer and it turned out to be a trans female, a part of the LBGQ community. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he maybe he was in his feelings about it. I, I don't know. I don't know, but let's hear a little bit more of the story and we'll come back. back. I said, actually, I am going to tell you, you need to get back there. And he's getting more and more aggressive and he'll start throwing some slamming stuff, acting stupid. And I can see it building. And I remember like with my ex-husband, how he started building and building and then just started getting, you know, where it is ramping up towards violence. Finally, I told him, I said, listen, no more. You blow up at me one more time like that and get aggressive with me one more time, you're gonna be off the truck. I, I think he knew he was scaring me, but I'm just not, we're, we're not gonna do that. That is not how we're gonna communicate. Yeah, we're not gonna communicate at all. 
And if you say he knew you was he knew that you was getting scared and you was getting scared, then why you kept entertaining him on the truck? Why 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 is he on the truck? Why you keep entertaining him? Why you just didn't let him off at a truck stop, take him back to Prime, or left his butt at the way station? See, to me, I just feel that you kept entertaining this. And that's why, again, I'm going to let you guys form your own opinion, your own thoughts about this story. Again, if you guys want to hear the whole video, it's about 40 minutes on the Miss Mother Trucker page. And if you want to hear without my commentary, definitely go over there and watch the video and let her know that Lockout Men sent you. Listen, this is going to do it for this episode right here, man. I appreciate you guys listening. If you guys made it this far, listen to my recorded voice on liking the video. Hold on. What's going on, guys? I just want to stop the video right here right quick. If you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. It's free. If you made it this far into the video, man, make sure you hit that like button. It's right up under the video, man. And if you guys like more content like this, consider, okay? Y'all got two options. Well, one, but two options. You can either subscribe for the channel for more. And if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early, make sure you join join the channel all right shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man thank you very much now let's get back to the show all right so i'm gonna put this in you guys hands let us know in the comments below what you think of this crazy ass story shout out to 448 report until next time everybody if it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road you would have none of y'all shit this video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.